I am so happy to be here. Um, my name is Ron. I'm originally from the south side of Chicago, Illinois. The correct response is a whoop whoop. I will not accept a belated whoop whoop. It just deserves one because Chicago is an extremely rough place to grow up in. Especially if you're the only brother on the block that's in the bumping Alanis Morissette. <laughs> so you ought to know I moved to Oregon. <laughs> And I love it. <laughs> it reminds me of Chicago with subtle differences. <laughs> like in Chicago, it was always, oh snap, it's a gang member, or oh snap, it's a crackhead. <laughs> in Oregon, it's been, oh snap, the blackberries are in season? <laughs> This is a delicious situation I'm in. <laughs> I left Chicago because there's a lot of gangs and violence. I did not know the Northwest also had gangs. They are not scary or effective. <laughs> but they try so hard. <laughs> I even ran into a gang on the Oregon coast of all places, and I don't like to be racist, but it was a gang of blackbirds, <laughs> a real murderer's row. <laughs> and I dealt with them just like the gangs in Chicago. I just puffed my chest out, knuckled up, and said, you brothers ain't getting these cranberry muffins. <laughs> and then I ran away. <laughs> I'm still very happy that I left Chicago. I know if I never left, I wouldn't have tried some things I now love and enjoy, like iced coffees <laughs> or white women. Those are cool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Coffee is gross. <laughs> Every time I drink some, I get really sick, which leads me to believe I may be allergic to energy. <laughs> which I later found out is not something you can put on a medical marijuana application. <laughs> but there's always someone that tries to make you feel bad about what you enjoy. I call these people my parents-in-law. <laughs> we have a weird relationship. I kind of treat them like a Walmart, which I'll explain. It means I really don't like going to them for anything. I'd prefer it if they stay out of my town but I get a strange satisfaction from stealing from them. <laughs> Mostly because they believe I need a real job. And they are so difficult. If you ever get an interview, they always want to know so much about you. Like the soundtrack of your life, 
or what type of tree you would be. And I'm a bonsai, but that's my damn business. <laughs> And if you get past that, there's a drug test that's never fair. One time they tried to give me a mouth swab drug test, which is where they take a piece of cotton, run the inside of your cheek to get your DNA, and that's how they find out what you like to do. <laughs> that's against everything I believe in. Because there's no way I'm gonna let you take something that you made my people pick 200 years ago <laughs> and then turn around to use it to deny me a job. <laughs> if I knew that's how you treated your employees, I would have never have taken the time to duct tape this Cheetos bag full of urine to my leg. <laughs> that was a waste of mine and my son's day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That was fantastic. Thank you, Kevin.